Today we're going to talk about six ways to modify your Breville dual boiler just to make it a little bit more enjoyable of an espresso machine. But before we do that, I just want to say if you could please like and subscribe, that really helps me continue to grow this channel. And if you're looking at purchasing anything in this video, please use the link in the description below so I can make a slight commission at no extra charge to you. So let's go ahead and dive into it. The very, very first thing, which I'm not going to go into too much detail here because I have a separate video on my channel that I will link in the description below. It is this thing called the Slayer Mod. The Slayer Mod allows you to remove this hot water tap here that you see and it will allow you to use the hot water knob on the side of your machine to control the flow rate of your espresso imitating a Slayer espresso machine that is well over $10,000. Um, so you simply need very little tools on the inside of this machine and just take it apart and move some of the tubing on the inside and then plug up the hot water tap and you're good to go and you can control your shots. You do lose the function of your hot water tap when doing this, but all of this mod is completely reversible. The second thing is simply upgrading your espresso machine by upgrading to some wooden handles. So as you can see, I have a wooden handle here for the steam lever and I have a wooden handle here that matches it for the Slayer mod so I can control the flow rate by simply lifting up this paddle here and then it matches with this bottom wooden handle bottomless portafilter. You can find these all over Etsy. I can link these below or Amazon. I can link these below as well. And it varies on price to price from these, but it is a kind of expensive upgrade because you gotta keep in mind somebody is making these for you and shipping them out to you. So it's a very time consuming process, but I've been a big fan of the looks of mine and the feel of mine. And I believe these come in a different color as well. Uh, the next thing you can do is if you notice my machine looks a little different than most is because it is matte black. There's a glossy black version of it, but this one is uh, matte black because I vinyl wrapped the entire machine. So this was stainless steel when I bought it and there was no other machine that you could really have that was like it. And I really want a matte black to match everything else on my coffee bar, like my Eureka grinder here and my knock box and pitcher rinser as well. So I bought some wrap for 20 bucks on Amazon and used a hair dryer and pulled it over the entire machine. It's not perfect. There's some little spots here and there. Um, I didn't do this backside because I ran out, but you can do that as well and make it there. And this part's actually spray painted because that's a story for a different day. Matches everything here and I spray painted the drip tray as well. So it is a matte black as well. And I just liked the looks of this way better than the stainless steel and I wasn't able to get the glossy black version and even if I did get the glossy black, I still wanted matte black because I'm particular. We have the Slayer Mod as one, wooden handles as two, wrapping your machine as three. And we're gonna go on to the fourth one here, which is simply changing the dispersion screen on, or the shower screen on your machine, which is right underneath of here, which is where the water flows out. And I change this to an IMS machine one and it is a nice metal one and gives you a little bit better results and a little bit more consistency in it as well as a rubber gasket which makes it a little bit better of removing and inserting the porta filter in there. The next mod, the fifth mod that we're going to be talking about is adding a switch bot. This is a switch bot right here. And what this does is it allows me to automatically turn on my machine whenever I want throughout the day. So I can set this up to turn on at six o'clock in the morning and again over lunch if I'm home for lunch and again in the evening if I wanted it there. Or I can remotely turn it on anywhere from my home via Bluetooth. So this simply just presses the button of this machine remotely or automatically if you set it to a timer, which is something really, really nice where you can just have your machine heated up and ready to go for you and you don't have to think about it like your Breville machine automatically turns off after a certain amount of time. So if you're gone and you forget to shut it off, it's okay because it eventually it'll turn off anyway. The last mod is kind of a gross mod, but I haven't seen anybody else really do it. So I'm kind of excited for it and I'll show you a little bit of it and it's gonna be a little messy, just throwing that out there. But what I did was I added a tube on the bottom of the machine. So inside this, I removed the little thing that says empty me and I never have to worry about it because I never have to empty my drip tray. I simply let it automatically flow out by running a tube in there. So what I did was I took a little white tube um, that I had left over from something else and I drilled a hole inside my drip tray right here at the front, took the tube, shoved it in there and I took a lighter and I melted the 
plastic tube so it would then lock onto the plastic drip tray so it's fixed in there. I'm sure there's a better way to do it, but I was fine with it. I had two drip trays, so if I mess it up, I'll just switch up my drip tray to the, the normal one. And then I ran a tube from the drip tray underneath of the machine and down through my coffee bar. So underneath my coffee bar, I have two water tanks for my pitcher rinser, a clean water tank, so I can clean uh, cups and things like that. And then I have a dirty water tank where all the water flows into. So I routed the tube from my drip tray into that dirty water tank that I already had in there. And now I never have to worry about emptying my drip tray, which is a feature that I've always wanted to have on my machine. And then I don't have to worry about carrying it over to the sink and dripping it. It does get clogged a little bit and get gross in there and I'm sure I'm gonna to have to clean it, but it's been working well for months. What I find that sometimes it, it takes a little bit of water buildup in the drip tray to then push the water through because you're basically going in a line where it's straight down and then it's flat on the bo bottom of my counter. So you need like a good amount of liquid to kind of push that down over the counter and then into the water tank below. Overall, I have not had my espresso machine overflow or anything like that on the drip tray, and it's worked really, really well. And the main reason I did that is because sometimes when you fill your drip tray too much and it, you purge your steam one, you eventually have issues with water kind of shooting up with the steam and pushing it out there. So those are my five mods, the changing the levers to wooden handles, the Slayer mod, IMS shower screen mod, wrapping your machine, the switch bot, and then finally making your drip tray auto drain for you so you don't have to pick it up out there. And if you have any questions or want some more details on these mods, simply just comment below and I'll get back to you at a pretty timely matter. I'm pretty good at responding to all the comments on any of my videos. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask. And I just want to say again, if you could please like and subscribe, that helps me really produce content. And thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video.